Yeah, traditionally, you know, again, we go into our fears about what tradition is and who's going to care if we don't carry out those traditions. It's like um, going into a Catholic church wanting to have sex instead of um, kneel at the altar, which um, you could say, you know, in some traditions, um, that would actually be appropriate. Um, but we are looking at merging and trying to understand in ourselves what matters. So if you were gonna do ayahuasca and you go to Peru and you want to encompass their tradition, um, part of the problem with that, as I see it, is that you come home and then you live in the society that's built totally differently. So we're not living from the land. I mean, we are, but we're doing it in a way that allows so many more people to live. So we have machinery and equipment and we have all this, um, you know, necessities to be able to um, allow this many people to live. We have water systems and waste systems and everything we do is like a luxury in comparison. I mean, flushing the toilet and, you know, at, at some time I'm sure that was snubbed as, you know, how dare you have a toilet that's only for rich snobby people is so bourgeois. And yet, um, now everybody has a toilet and you would never see that as a luxury. You would see that as a horrible thing not to have one. When you go down and you, you're experiencing ayahuasca in this place where you are lucky maybe to have any kind of toilet hole or whatever, and you're using these outside facilities or very primitive facilities, and then you're processing everything through that context. So when you come home what do you do with that information and what happens is a lot of people will um you know they'll hear all this songs and all this beautiful stuff and i know they'll get locked into that is the right way and so they'll start to perceive through that lens of this is what i learned from ayahuasca because i was there and I, so now I only like this kind of music and you know, that's my favorite kind of music now because that's the one that feels right. And they're really misinterpreting the whole thing. Um, because <clears throat> when you do, I, you do an analog, we'll say an analog instead of ayahuasca proper. So you do an analog and maybe use the species that are more local to you. Um, for your your alkaloids you get the same alkaloids going and then you experience it through your culture so let's say you stay at home and you don't go um or you do it with a small group of friends in some kind of facility or maybe somebody's home you're going into a space that's very very safe and comfortable just like the people in that tradition do so they're going into their little sweat lodge if they're doing it in sweat lodges and native american if you go into a sweat lodge that's not your normal place that's not your church what's your church look like and you know if you don't have a church maybe your sanctuary is at home maybe you have a special room even dedicated to meditation or something like that we live in such a totally different culture that what we really need to do is realize we want to embrace that and love on that and give it all the rights to be what it is in the the most loving way we can and see the loving parts of it and what is love in it so a lot of people come out of it from there and they judge it oh my god what a horrible world we live in and then they, they become conflicted again and they actually need to do ayahuasca again at that point because now they have conflicts again. I live in this culture that I don't trust, I don't believe in, I think it's wrong, look at all this waste and I'm part of it. And so I therefore hate myself in a sense, that's what you're putting out there and that's what you're getting back. So things start to happen, you start to go into depression or whatever. So <clears throat> doing it traditionally you know, is, is, I would say the best, the people who come away with that okay are the ones, they get a great healing and they, um, you know, they, they have so much trust and faith in it and they don't take away that that's some kind of righteous, um, traditional modality. They don't make that their new religion. Um, because that, you know, every time we make something a religion, it usually goes 
corrupt pretty bad. Um, so when you come away from that traditionally, if you can come back into your society and honor what has been created so that so many people can live in harmony together, relative harmony, um, you know, if you had that many people living in primitive conditions, it would not be very harmonious. It would be pretty awful. So we're really needing to honor some of our own, um, you know, our, our own culture. So one of the, after I did my summer of 24 journeys or 26 or whatever it was at the time, um, I used to keep track, had a notepad with everything written down. Well, at that point, I really, really knew that we needed to be able to do it in solo, in our own safe spaces, just like they do it in their safe spaces. So we don't need to call them up here and make them do ayahuasca, our plant medicines in our safe spaces. That would be pretty scary for them. It might be fun and interesting for them too, but what would they take away with it? Would they totally believe that our culture then was the right way? So what we end up with a lot of times is these kind of hippie men mentalities that say like, I'm gonna be a rainbow gathering person now and you know, everything is about being back to nature because we do, we want to honor nature and appreciate it and mother earth. And we, we definitely feel that when we do these plant medicines and so we take that on. But pretty soon, you know, um, you know I remember being out at, um, at Garth's property out in Joshua Tree and there was some hippie kids staying out there that had, you know, done a lot of different psychedelics and stuff. And they had put up a sign on the way in that said, respect brother snake because somebody had run over a snake and they had put up a sign to kind of warn people that there were snakes on the road. And because the snake is like a symbol and actually it's like crawling up the tree of life. So, and I'm gonna go into the next um, topic on what that means and the symbol of the serpent and all of that. And I'll touch on that because it's it's pretty cool and interesting and we'll get, I'll, I'll tie back into this tradition stuff. Should it be traditional? Should it not? And why? 